Hi, I'm Sarah from Sarah Fife Photography, and this is the first episode in my series of how to achieve the perfect wedding. Today we're going to talk about makeup, and I'm here with Paula Gallagher, professional makeup artist, and she's going to share some of her secrets on how to achieve a flawless finish. Paula, I know from listening to my brides that they really like the, the natural look and style and, and feel of my photography. Is this the same with the makeup and, and how do you achieve a natural look with the makeup? Definitely, Sarah. Every bride wants to be natural, you know, natural beauty. Um, basically, it has to be, you know, you have to make decisions, whether it be from your eye colour, your skin tone, you know, your hair. But also, I listen to my brides and what's natural to them. Maybe a full face of makeup, you know, and quite colourful, or maybe quite little and quite muted tones. But it's what's natural to them. Paula, it's important for me to listen to my clients and to bring out the best of my clients. How do you achieve this with your, your makeup? Well, Sarah, I find by listening to my, you know, to my brides that I, you will always, you know, if you listen, you can hear exactly what she's asking from you. Whether, you know, that be from flawless skin to a, a dewy look, a fresh look, you know, exactly, you know, that they get the desired result on the day. Um, I find that when you're working with makeup especially, it's like wearing your personality and therefore, you know, the more I spend time with her, I get a feel for her, you know, whether it be for colour, you know, exactly where we can go with this and then tie it all in for coordination for dress and hair and stuff. So it's very important. Okay, Paula, something I want to talk to you about is fake tan. I advise my brides to still let a little bit of their natural radiance show through. How do you feel about fake tan and what advice would you give to prospective brides about fake tan? Fake tan's fine, Sarah, you know, we all like to cheer up our skins a little bit, you know, and we love it. You know, the summer comes and it's the first thing comes out, but I would definitely recommend for brides to go no darker than two shades of their natural tone. Um, any further than that and they're removing themselves from their natural beauty. Um, it's definitely very important also to make sure that the tan is put on all areas never to stop at the neckline because um, I'm sure from a photographic perspective as well you know you know that um, tan it basically absorbs light makeup will reflect and you can see that in photographs uh, because of the SPF you know in makeups and it does tell uh, you know in photography so I'd recommend girls make sure that all key points are covered you know and keep it Keep it to at least one layer and only two shades darker, definitely. Paula, I know you travel to the bride's house normally to do the makeup and you often do the bride's makeup, the bridesmaid's makeup, even mother of the bride's makeup as well. Um, how much time would you um, advise a bride to leave for makeup application? Well, on the day, Sarah, obviously we would have completed a bridal trial here in the studio. Um, that, you know, gets everything aired out exactly, concerns even down to, you know, application, colour selection, stuff like that. That would never be dealt with on the morning. Um, so therefore we have a pen and we have it, you know, sorted. So on the morning I would ask a bride to allow, especially for herself, 40 minutes at least, and then uh, 30 minutes for every additional member after that, you know. Um, it's not quite, you know, essential to have a trial for your bridesmaids or the mother of the bride. But sometimes they feel it helps, you know, so that, you know, the mother can be relaxed sitting in the chair because it is quite a daunting thing you know if you haven't met me before and you're going to wonder what is she going to do to me so by, by having a trial it airs out all that there and it basically you know things will run a lot smoother and a lot faster in the morning. Paul I know you've undertaken a lot of training what would you say are the benefits of, of booking a professional makeup artist like yourself? Well, the biggest thing, Sarah, for you know a bride is obviously to have the morning as stress-free as possible, and it can be quite pressurising. Even though you get up and you put on your own makeup every morning, and it's your face, and nobody knows their own face better, but to have somebody like myself come into the house, it just eliminates that worry. You know that I'm there. I'm going to take care of everybody. Make sure that you have the desired look, and it's it, it also creates that special treat on the day. You know, it's everybody wants to feel special, and it's definitely something. You know, it's a feel-good factor. 
Okay, Paul, well, thank you for answering all, all my questions today. I'm sure the brides will really appreciate that. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's really important for me as a photographer to, um, and for my brides as well, um, to have a, a flawless finish and for my brides to be camera ready for me. So um, I really appreciate that. Definitely, Sarah. No problem at all. Okay, Bye. thanks. See you Saturday. See you Saturday. <laughs> 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 okay guys, that concludes our first episode. Many thanks to Paula Gallagher Makeup. Keep an eye on our blog and our Facebook pages. Next time we'll be talking about hair.